Yes, people. What's happening, guys? It's been a while. It's been a couple of weeks since the last portfolio video. Um, a lot's happened. Um, basically, I opened uh, investment ISA, as you can see at the top of the page. Um, so I had to sell everything from my basic accounts, as you can see at the bottom, which currently only has the Debenhams shares in there. Um, I can't sell them, I can't um, get rid of them until they sort themselves out. I can't even transfer the shares over to the ISA account because I had to sell basically everything. See, show you in the activity. Sold all Apple, Verizon, Tesla, Abvi. I had to sell basically everything, which was a bit of a pain because I originally bought them at decent prices and I obviously had to rebuy them at the spot price. Um, so I had to do it. The reason I had to do it is because, um, for tax reasons, it's, it's basically tax free. The ISA, whereas the basic account, I would have had to have paid tax over time, especially in the next four, five, six, or so years when the portfolio was quite high. So I had to open the ISA investment account. And I know you're only allowed £20,000 in a year, but to be honest, I don't think I'd um, ex exceed that, that limit. Um, obviously, I would love to, but um, I think I'd be putting in roughly around fifteen pounds to £20,000 a year anyway. So the ISA limit doesn't really affect me, but it's just it's just good um, for tax reasons. Um so yeah, I basically, while I had the, the, the cash there free, I thought I'd just change a little bit over me, me strategy in, in the portfolio. Um, now these shares aren't all mine. They're actually mixed in with my children's. About roughly £2,000, £1,800 of it's my children's savings. Um, so all the Tesla shares here, they're all the kids. The f it's just a basic future investment you know if those shares reach a thousand two thousand pound in the next five to ten years it's a nice little wedge for me children and um, they also own four apple shares so so other um what else do they own oh yeah no yeah that's it just tesla and apple so seven tesla shares of the children and four apple shares um the rest are mine so basically I've, I've given a good trim and I'm just going to concentrate on bringing the amount up to scratch. Um, I want to buy more AT&T. Their shares dropped after their Q1 earnings were absolutely rubbish. So I'd like to um, buy a few more of those. Um, I'm starting me Boeing. I'd like to get more, uh, roughly about three and a half thousand pounds worth of Boeing. Um, same with PepsiCo and Abfi. Now, when you can't buy fractional shares on free trade, I don't know if you know this or not. Um, so, for example, when I buy um, like an Apple stock, if I have a bit of change left over, two, three, four pound, I'll just buy. I put it into Domino's and Vodafone. Domino's is a good growth stock and Vodafone is just it's just basically because it's so cheap it's an over 9% dividend yield which I know in the future they'll probably cut that but if they cut that to 6 it's still a good decent um, dividend yield so that's what I do with my spare change um, but I'm basically concentrating on Abvi, PepsiCo I'm Boeing at the moment. <clears throat> I'd like to bring them up to about three and a half thousand, three thousand pound each. Um, and once I've reached that goal with those stocks, they'll roughly be bringing in 150 to 200 pound a year in dividends. Then I can pick my. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. So I can pick my sixth stock to start um, investing in. Um, maybe a Microsoft or I'm not too sure I haven't really thought about maybe Coca-Cola but I've already got Pepsi so I'm not too sure I'm just literally concentrating on 
the to bring these um, the, the value of Abfi PepsiCo and Boeing up a little bit more um, so yeah that's the update on my portfolio at the moment I'm yet to receive a dividend I sold Abfi before I opened the ISA so I should be getting a decent dividend um, because I sold it after the ex-dividend date I also sold Verizon which I don't own anymore but I sold Verizon after the ex-dividend date so I'm still expecting a dividend off those two um, maybe around £50-ish, £40 so I'm just going to reinvest that money and um, probably buy some Abfi um, because the stock's quite low at the moment um, look at that, they've dropped 20% over the past year so I'm going to try and stock up as much as I can on the Abfi um, yeah so that's my portfolio update it's just over £9,000 but um, two of that £1,800 of that is the children so I've roughly got about £7,000 in my porf- personal investment types of portfolio um, I'm roughly putting about £200 a week in I wish I could put more in, but that's all I can afford at the moment. So £200 plus any dividends I receive is just getting reinvested into the portfolio. Um, I've got £10,800 um, left to put in this ISA for this remaining year. So that's the goal, get twenty grand in before next April. I should be able to do that. Um, yeah, so let me know what your thoughts are on my portfolio. Was it a good idea switching over to the ISA? Or was it not a good idea? Um, and that's pretty much all I have to say about now. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember, subscribe. Um, and give us any comments. Give us some advice because I'm new to this. Um, and let me know where I'm going wrong and what I'm doing right or vice versa. So thanks, guys. Thanks for listening.